Christian, how would you assess your play uh, during the resumption today? Um, I was a little bit off this morning. Um, body felt a bit slow on the on the course. Um, he had a, he had a couple, couple of bad tee shots and um, made, made two bogeys coming in. But um, yeah, all in all, it's uh, still a solid second round. Um, Yes, I played really, really well. So, um, yeah, it's a positive going into. How, how differently did this golf course play this morning after all that rain yesterday? Yeah, I mean, it was obviously obviously playing a lot, a lot, a lot longer this morning. It's a little bit cold, a little bit of different wind, um, and it's obviously soft as well. Um, so, a little, little bit wrong, longer, and if he didn't. He, Hit it in the rough now. There's, there's, there's no chance of getting it, advancing it, 150 plus yards. You know. So, um, mm. um, but yeah, um, yeah. How what much if, of an advantage do you think it was to play these few holes this morning, knowing that for most of the day it's probably going to be like that, and you might be able to take on some pins if you're in the fairway that you couldn't the first two days. Yeah. So the, the uh, greens, greens are definitely more. Receptive than the, than the previous two two rounds, um, so you can see a lot a lot more guys going for going for flags now that that that, that they didn't um, would, wouldn't have gone for if, if it wasn't for the rain. Um, but yeah, if you if you keep the ball in the fairway, um, especially now. With, with a wet rough, you, you, you can attack the flags and give yourself op opportunities. What have you What have you been doing really well the first two days? I've been I've been, um, I've been holding out well, uh, rolling the ball well on the greens, and, and I've all, also also been hitting, hitting a lot of fairways. Um, you you can uh, play a golf course like this out of the fairway. Um, but with the soft, softer greens now, um, if you m miss the fairway here, here and there, if you um, come come in, in with a shorter club, you, you, you know, also also be able to hold the greens as well. So, yeah. do you think? Uh, uh, I know you played well here in 2020. Do you think, um, in a way, this uh, this place owes you a little bit of a of a good finish here? Yeah, I mean the. Obviously, been good memories here. Uh, this golf course suits my eye, um, especially off the tee, and um, and and these greens are so good. So if you if, if you get your putter rolling well, you you can hold a, a lot of putts. Christian, uh, just one, you spent a bit of time with Ernie back in Jurita. Just what are some of the things that you've gleaned of Ernie with, with what he's achieved in the game? Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, I'm very fortunate to 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 be close to him. Um, he's he's been a role model of mine for ever since I've played golf, started the game. So um, just just to spend some time with him, learn learn the ropes on the on the PGA Tour. I mean, it's a it's a it's a long Long uh, way away from home, especially for the South Africans. But um, to have a guy like Ernie here in the States that, that you can just go to for some advice and, and just to play a few, few, few rounds to, together. And um, yeah, he's, he's been a tremendous help in. In my game over the last few years, especially here in the states, and and also um, growing up, did, did playing in the Presidents Cup uh, was that an experience that also maybe I don't know moved your career along, learned some things from it? Yeah, that was that was a um, huge for for me to have made that team. It was definitely one of my goals mm -hmm. at the start of last year to make that team and. It was a, and it was a privilege to to have, to have played under under uh, Captain Umuman and under the Shield as well for the international side. So um, 
hopefully I can make many more sides in the future. Great. Sweet. Thanks. 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 Thanks.